Good morning, guys. It's a dream to be waking up on a gas stain farm. First day of farming, technically. I gotta give my buddy Buck a ring quick. What on earth do you want this early in the afternoon? Buck, it's... You guys open? Still? Yeah. Isn't it pretty nice to be talking on phones? Yeah. These but are, these it's are kind of harder because of the fact that I'm driving the truck right now on a drop-off mission, so... I can't uh, talk for too long. We gotta get stuff unloaded. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I'm coming down. I'm coming down to your place. Um, uh, 8110, do you still have that for sale? Uh, we should. Okay. I am coming down right now. Um, I'll be down there. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. We'll see you, Buck. See you then. So, in case you guys are new, this is the mid, or this is the early 2000s. From 2000 to 2010 are the years we're farming. So, some of the equipment we're using right now is still technically older. For me, like in real life, that's some pretty nice equipment, but we still don't have the brand new stuff, which I, I kind of like. And this is my new pickup. It's a year old pickup. I just picked it up. Um, actually left the lights on on it, but it's a 2003 F-350 Power Stroke. Um, it does have the 7.3. They're talking about coming out with a new engine called the 6.0. Like I say, it's a great sounding engine. We'll see if it's a good engine though. Um, it's got a fuel pump in the back. I put a fuel tank in the back. I uh, got the gooseneck bumper pull hitch on it. It's a good old farm truck. We did retire the 72 F250. By the way, I found this awesome shop. This is the shop we're using now. I don't know if we'll be able to fit the combine in it once I get a combine or our biggest tractor, but it should work for now, for this decade. Wink, wink. If you look inside, we did retire the 72 F250. This is only gonna be kind of for getting ice cream on Friday nights, that's it. This thing is not going to get dirty. The 1206 is still a workhorse. This will always be around the farm. And inside this building, we have cold storage. It's kind of neat. I like this building. I really do. I'll shut the door here. But yeah, farm tour. In case you guys haven't seen it, watch last video. And everything else is the same as last video. Okay, let's fire the big boy up. I do have an aftermarket exhaust on it. Some 18 year old bought this truck brand new, put a lot of additions, and they couldn't afford the payment, so we picked it up. Now when we moved here, I bought some land. We bought fields 16, which is currently in soybeans, it's in August, so those are going to be ready to harvest in two months. And then we bought field 29, which is in corn, that's going to be ready to harvest in probably two and a half months. But we're heading down to Holland and Sons. I've worked with them back in the 1980s, great dealership, they stuck around through hard times. They didn't screw people over, and uh, so we're going to do most of our business through them. They've got a new lot, but Buck said they don't have much new equipment out there, and they got a used lot. I'm more interested in the used lot. Same with my wallet. That was Buck. Oh, wow. Hey, this is not bad. Yeah, this is the new section. That's some expensive equipment. What is that? A 9530. I think they just started coming out with these in 8130. I think probably a brand new one, a 2006 model. 8330. There's also a 9650 STS. You know, there's a guy watching YouTube. He's kind of an idiot, but he, ha he has one like that. Now, this is what my wallet likes over here the used section. We've got a 4240, 8110. A Massey Ferguson, 3670. You know, I wish they had some more cases. Oh, there's a case back there, too. 9520, now that's a big horse right there. Uh, 4955, I actually had one of those back in the day. Right before we went close to broke. 7130, Case International. 7710, one big bad tractor. 8110, it's got a rock box on it. Rear weights, it does have that new Green Star stuff. I've never ran that, but John Deere saying you don't have to steer anymore which is pretty cool. John Deere 9220, 7600. I'm thinking we do have a semi, we have Chet's semi. I don't have it yet, but we could use it for hauling grain. Most of our farms are super close. So instead I was thinking, we'll keep Chet's semi around, but I was thinking to get a couple of wagon sets and that'll work good. It just all depends on what tractors we get. But those are two Brent 644s, perfect wagons. I think it'd work good for our bin site too. Right now, we're more focused on buying harvesting equipment than we are planting equipment. Just because it's August right now, we gotta get the crop out. Operating times, 8 to 5 p.m. 
Oh, wow. He's got a couple gators, too, in here. Plow. Spreader. 4x2. Want to buy a tractor, boy? Well, I'm looking at an 8110. I'm looking at an 8110. You got two. You got three of them here. Three. Oh yeah. So three choices here for you. Two of these two are pretty much the same. Yep. Uh, we got rock boxes up front, row crop duels in the rear, hydraulic remotes, nothing, nothing Four too CVs, fancy. Heavier. Thousand PTO. Heavy duty, uh, yep. Heavy okay. duty draw bar as well. So not Cat like three. the 7000 series. So we're pretty much good on there. Uh, the other one, the other. Option though for our other 7110 is it doesn't have the rock box on the front. This one just has regular weights. So mm. There's I guess I could, I could pull. Off. Yeah. yeah. Either way, I could pull them off. I could f I could find a rock box or I could find weights. Shouldn't matter. Are they priced mm -hmm. pretty similar then? Yeah, all these are pretty much priced similar. The only two differences between uh, the other two that have rock boxes is the one on the right from where we're at has uh, about 250 on the hours, and then the one on the left has roughly 400 so the one on the right's a little bit better yeah but this one's the least amount of hours why it's kind of sitting up in the front row this one's only got about 110 on the on the clock gotcha and if i wanted i could put a rock box on it okay. yeah you they just have to these take off the, the bracket mode. I, oh yeah I, 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 honestly i want Power the lowest shift transmission 16 speed right yep okay they uh Honestly, I, I, I'd love to buy the one with the lowest hours. And maybe maybe later on you could sell me a rock box too or something. We'll see. We'll keep the weights on because I'm looking at a planner that's probably going to be a three-point. So it's probably good to have weights on there. Um, well, it's your lucky day. I think we've got a 12-row fold of one, one right over here. Isn't that a 16? I could be wrong. I don't really couldn't remember. I think it's a 16. I think it is. I, I pulled it off the truck, and Jeremy's the one that helped me unload it, so... I couldn't tell you. I haven't looked at the inventory yet. But yeah, we got ourselves a 17, 20, 16 row. Max and Yeah, that'd be a good planner. I, I'm going to have to pass on it for now. Come winter, you're talking talking my game. I got to get the crop off first, though. Very true, very true. Uh, for combine setup, we haven't gotten the headers in yet. I've been going back and forth with trucks. We still got to get our Mac going because we got a ship coming in from uh, Moline for a couple headers as well as just some auctions that we went to and pick some stuff up. 35, 40 foot drapers as well as auger driven. That Those drapers are starting to get nicer because the belts, I mean, the auger, you don't have to worry about the sharpness of them. But the combines, obviously this is our brand, brand new stuff. The 9650 right here, this is a two year old combine so far. So... So I know, guys, I'm an idiot. How did I not see that? I must be dyslexic. 9560 is what the idiot has, which is me, not 9650. So the statement did hold up, this just is, the numbers didn't. The statement's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm thinking, I'm really liking this 9220. I really do, because we could put it on row crop, could put it probably on a grain cart, because I saw you had a three point on them. They don't come with three point that often. Well, or we could put, uh, put it on a planner. Heck, in the future. You, so I think we'll do. A, that's your call. We'll do a 8110 and 9220. Perfect pair. Or we could get a set. Hmm. But um, so if we want to go at least with those right now, do we have anything else that you're going to need as of like right now? Got to hit the ground running. We can get you in, and then for like of course the combines and the stuff we can get you later. You could sell me some wagons. Well, conveniently for you, we got at least a Killsboro 390, and we also have some Brents. 644s. These two are nice because they already come in tandem. The only downside is to it. Uh, you remember that storm came through here a couple weeks ago? Yeah. Well, the wind and a mixture of hail and one of the trees that was over here, branches kind of came flying through and it tore some holes in the tarp. So we have to get a new tarp. So this one doesn't have a back tarp on it. Okay. Would that be replaced in a warranty? Technically, yes, because it was under our... Uh, it's time right now, but if you wanted to buy it right now, you'd have to bring it back because it's still being back ordered right now. About two weeks. What do you got the seventy one thirty price at? That one currently is listed at. It's got probably two hundred horse, doesn't it? She's she's yeah. close to two hundred horse. That one currently right now I have listed at sixty two. Sixty two. Okay. I buck. I think what we'll do is we'll do. I'll take your seventy one thirty, eighty one ten, and ninety two twenty. What about the carts? And the two wagons. Okay. The wagons and for the pair. The biggest disc you have. Because I don't know well, if this the wagons is the themselves, the wagons themselves are gonna be sixteen grand a piece. Okay, that's fine. The biggest disc I have right now is probably this sixty thirty. If you have a nine shank, let me know. I'll buy a nine shank. You want to lease wagons. this one then until I say do you just want to lease this one until you get the new until we get one of the nine shanks in? That'd work. Because I, I could put it in order for it. 
That'd work good. Uh, we'll do that. Do you want to do the 60-30 disc, though, as well with that, just so you have a tandem duo of ground ripping? Yeah, we can do that. That'll work good. Um, okay. Because I just need to rip up some pasture around home that I'm going to put in a field. All right, so we got all that stuff done. I think with that lease, we should have the uh, new shank in. I'll try and get a word in as fast as possible to get that sucker over here. Okay. But uh, we'll get that up as soon as you guys, as soon as we can get that in. Uh, how do you want to get a lot of this stuff transported? Because I know a majority of it, we can at least drive it to where I think you're at. Yeah, let's just drive it home. Be too much. I see. Let's drive it home. Um, yep. it, remember, if you get 9560, let me know. Okay. Yeah, we'll, mm. uh, I'll take the 8110. Do you want to drive the 9220? And we'll come back for the Magnum? That'd probably work. Okay. I'll hook up to the wagons if you want to hook up to the 7 shank. And then we'll hook the Magnum up to the... Uh, hook the Magnum up to the disc. That works for me. Well, we didn't get that bad a deal. We got an 8110. It does have green star. I have no idea how this stuff works. Um, but they say it's the new stuff. It makes you kind of feel lazy. Not steering. We got a 9220. And we got a Magnum. 7130 two wheel drive also two wagons now these are going to work perfect with our bin site i'm looking to get another set two more probably and we'll probably put those on the magnum the magnum should be able to pull it it'll be a little bit for it to pull two wagons but it should work if not we'll just pull one we'll shift you up get going down the road now a couple things we still need to buy we still need to buy um, a couple augers for the bin site, um, planter, field cultivator, some tillage equipment, combine, and then maybe, I, I gotta figure out the money situation, but I think what we'll do is, once we get kind of our equipment set up, we'll kind of slowly start taking down the money, and then, um, and then we'll use the money we're making off crops for any future expansion, but then if we expand buildings, I think, because buildings and and stuff stuff like that is just crazy expensive where it's tough to stay realistic so we'll see though well for now i'm gonna pull these wagons around in front of the bins we'll probably put them there eventually we'll back them inside but uh it's not supposed to rain for a while the 8110 fits in the shop the question is can i get the 9220 in the shop i don't know pop the door open You think she's gonna fit? I think so. You, the only thing that might be Robin's exhaust pipe. Uh, you got plenty of clearance. Seriously? Oh wow. She fits. Nice. Hopefully the well, combine. Maybe will. I can't tell how close I am to the weight on that. No, you're. Keep coming a little more. Oh, we're good. Well, then how far do we get to the rock box? Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me scoot the tractor back. Okay, keep going. Oh, good. Nice. You haven't seen the place, have you, Buck? No, no, I have not. Check her out. This is a shop built in the 60s. Perfect little shop. It's getting a little too small if we want to fit a combine in, but works great for oil changes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Do you guys even have that deer? A pit? No. No, we do not. If you come back here, I got my, all my workbenches. Holy mackerel. Yeah, I got one of these things called a computer and stuff. I, I don't really need it out here. The, that's a thick boy. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Holy, oh, oh boy. What, are you trying to build an engine? Oh, we're re rebuilding the 1206. Rebuilt that last winter there. Ah, yeah, makes sense. The 72, you remember the good old days back in the day? I still got mine. You still got yours? I, I still got the 5020 too. I sold the 4020 about sold five, the 40 six years 20? ago. You were yelling at me for selling the 4020 back in the 60s and 70s. I bought that one. We sold ours. Mm. I kept the 5020. That's the one I always had. Gotcha. Well, if you need a place to put it, we got a bunch of storage around here too. And my, because I don't really have as big a shed to put it in anymore, and spaces are getting cramped until I can buy real yeah. estate. I mean, I got room in here too, cold storage. It's a little smaller. I can't find some of the bigger equipment in here, but this will work for uh, open cab tractors. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that should work. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I got to go get that 70. Yeah, if you come back here, had a dairy operation. Um, you can check inside the house. 
Got five different bins. This is kind of the bin site for now. Um, dairy operation still not going. We could get back into it. We'll see. Well, we got the 7130 back. Buck gave me a ride back. He's bringing my truck also. Um, we got the disc here. This is going to make a good like spraying tractor. Kind of some light work. And then uh, also I'm probably tossing on the wagons. I need to put, what I'm going to do is put a couple front weights in. In my shop, I can make some, some adjustments in my shop there. Throw a couple front weights on so it's weighed down good for wagons. And uh, this will make a nice tractor. And then we'll park the Magnum inside. If it starts raining and the wind picks up, I'll shut those doors. But for now, it should be good. We should probably shut those lights off. Oh, he's got to show off. This old 72. Gosh. I sadly didn't keep mine completely original to what it was. I took the topper off about a couple years ago and put it looks some bed good. rails on it. It looks good. I haven't seen this truck in forever. It's been probably, what, 20 know, years? At least. I know. I just at least I, I had to take care of it. I, I, I ran it as my plow truck for the past few, and it's, it's, it's been beaten up. Like I said, I haven't taken as good a care of mine as yours probably. Yeah. But... I mean, it's still solid. Yeah. It's got surface rust underneath. I've been starting to clean it off more and try to get it undercoated. Nice Might need up. to do... Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. We'll just have to keep on keeping on. I, had, I took off my front grill guard as well, so... Yeah. It's still roughly the same truck, but... Hey, I got some beer inside. If you want to drink beer, Are watch you? the Steelers game. Preseason. Nope, not Steelers. Nope. What? Okay. Let me, know when Arizona, let me know when Arizona's on. We'll start talking. Hey, they say they got that Ben Roethlisberger. He's going to be a heck of a QB. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.